Microsoft Word, Office Online. Creating a new file in Word Online. The first thing I did was click on OneDrive on my navigation bar. I already have some files here, but I'd like to create a new document. This can be done one of two ways. The first way is to click New. I'm prompted to create a new file, and I get to pick which application I'd like to use. I'll choose Word Document. And here we go. Word Online opens right in my browser. I'll click on the back button to show you the other way. I can also click Files, New Document, and choose to create a new document in this library. When I did that, however, a new document was created on the desktop application of Word, which is Word 2013. I've closed the application, and now I'm back to Office Online. What I really want to focus on is creating those files within the browser. Here you can see the file I created about a minute ago is called Document. I'll go back to that file, and I have some choices on the top. I have a file menu, I can edit this document, print it, share it, and there's also a Find and Comment section. If I click on File, I have some choices which I'll discuss in a later video, and I can click Save As, and when I do Save As, I have to download a copy to my computer, or I can download it as a PDF. If I click on Edit Document, I can choose to edit with the full functionality of Microsoft Word 2013, or I can edit in Word Online. This allows me to make quick changes right here in my browser. So the thing about this is, there's no Save button. With Word Online, your documents are saved automatically. I'll click Back, and in order to save this file with a proper name, I'll need to click the checkbox next to it, go to Files, go to Edit Properties, and I can rename the file here. And then click Save. Notice the file extension is .docx. Here you can see the updated name. When I'm using Word Online in conjunction with OneDrive, all of my documents are saved in the cloud. That means they're not saved locally on my computer, which also means I can access them from anywhere. And that's how to create a new file in Word Online.